because of a generous donation from the Taylor family and the Change for Connor Foundation that Coffeyville Community College has been able to facilitate the construction and completion of their Walter Johnson Johnson infield Infield turf turf project. project. Everyone in CCC Athletics, as well as Coach Jake Martin and the CCC Red Raven baseball team, would like to say thank you to the Taylor family and the Change for Connor Foundation for their generous donation. CCC Athletics and CCC Baseball would also like to say thank you to all others involved in the Walter Johnson Infield Turf Project. Those involved include Dr. Marlon Thornburg, President of CCC, CCC Board of Trustees, Dickie Rolls, CCC Foundation Director, Jeff Liker, CCC Athletic Director, Bryce Sia, CCC Athletic Fundraiser, and Mammoth Construction.
to Walter Johnson Park for a Saturday afternoon doubleheader between the Kansas City Kansas Blue Devils and the Coffeyville Community College Red Ravens. So happy you're with us. I'm Shane Neal as we get ready for first pitch of game one back at Walter Johnson Park for the first time in 37 games. The Ravens get to play back at home. Let's get you starting lineups for both teams. First for the visiting KCK Blue Devils leading off at second base number six or number four Gary Goldbeck. Leading uh, batting second at second base, number two, Peyton Basler. Batting third, the third baseman, number 10, Jackson Mervash. Batting cleanup. And at first base, number 23, Jace Waida. Batting fifth behind the plate, number 32, Brady Patterson. Batting sixth in left field, Marcus Sturks. Batting seventh in designated hitting today, Freddie Nolan. Batting eighth in right field is number three, Tanner Pachorik. And batting ninth in center field is Brady Kern. They'll be going up against the sophomore right hander, Ryan Liker. First pitch outside corner, strike one. We are underway. Liker enters today's game with a 1-0 record on the season in four games. 18 and a third innings pitched, a 5.4 earned run average. That one just a bit off the outside corner. One ball in one strike. Liker... Very control-focused pitcher. Really good at hitting his spots and not making a lot of mistake pitches. That one lined over the shortstop's head into left field for a leadoff single for Goldberg. And looked like for the third consecutive pitch, Liker was trying to hit the outside half of that plate. And so a leadoff single for Goldbeck. That brings up the second baseman, Peyton Basler. This KCK team really can hit. They come into this one as a team with a 5.07 on base percentage as they're strike one here to Basler. Ravens were able to keep the bats at bay though, losing, splitting a doubleheader on Thursday, three to two in game one, the loss, and then a 9-2 victory. There's a breaking ball that catches the zone and quickly 0-2 from Ryan Liker. No balls, two strikes. Sophomore looks for his first out of the afternoon. Up and away and a bluff throw. Runner not going, one and two. New infield turf here at Walter Johnson Park. A brand new home dugout as well. Here's the one, two from Liker and a throw over to first. Back in time is Goldbeck. Goldbeck on the season, 14 stolen bases. That is not just tops on the team, that's twice as many as any other player. So this is a guy that will go. Here's the one, two, he stays put. Fastball upstairs, two and two. On deck here for the Blue Devils is the third baseman, Jackson Mervash. The two, two pitch. Runner on first, Ravens looking for their first out of the day. Another throw over to first. Back in time is the shortstop, Goldbeck. Just underway here this afternoon. First pitch at 12.56. And another throw over. Liker gets his sign. Here's the 2 2 pitch to Basler. Breaking ball stays away. Full count. And after getting ahead 0 2, Basler's had a competitive at bat. With the speed of Goldbeck on first, maybe a hit and run employed here for KCK. Runner does not go on the pitch. This one flied to center field. Retreating on it, but having a play and making the catch there is the center fielder Hill, one down here this afternoon. Runner tag will move up to second on the first out of the day. So Liker retires Basler, but heads up base running by Goldbeck. And so with one out, runner on second. Here comes Mervash. Mervash on the season hitting four, or has a 493 slugging. On base percentage of 476, he's hitting 358. Breaking ball inside, one ball, no strikes. Yeah, 
Ravens really looking to like her to set the set the tempo here for this doubleheader, and that breaking ball also stays inside. Two and zero here on Mervash. Obviously, with some veteran starters in this rotation, R Ricky Hernandez and Ryan Liker, the Ravens looking to gain some positive momentum. 2-0 pitch. That one finds the zone. Strike one. The runner at second is Garrett Goldbeck, the, the shortstop who had a leadoff single to left center to start the game. Advanced to second on a fly out by Basler. Did he go on that slider away? They say no. Three balls, one strike. So a hitter's count here against the Blue Devils three hole hitter. Could be a potentially dangerous pitch here. 3 1 here from Liker. Goes heater, challenges him, and that one is fisted to right out of play. Foul ball. So full count now to Mervash, who walks his way back to home plate. On deck is the cleanup hitter today for the Blue Devils. That's the first baseman, Jose Woita, or excuse me, Jace Woita. Full count pitch here from Liker. Runner at second. He stays put. That one fought off. Found behind home plate. Back-to-back -back fastballs there going right after Mervash. We saw him nearly chase a slider in a 2-1 count. We'll see if Liker trusts that breaking ball enough to throw it potentially in a full count or if he sticks with the heat. He does go breaking ball and stays inside. That's a walk to Mervash. And a pair of base runners here in the first inning for the Blue Devils. So a single and a walk, and Casey K threatening here in the opening inning. With the cleanup hitter, Boita walking to the plate. Boita on the season, a 339 hitter. He has 29 runs batted in, a team high five home runs. First pitch is upstairs. The age old saying is if you're gonna get after a talented starting pitcher, try to do it in the early innings when they're still kind of finding what they have on any given day. And you can tell Liker laboring a little bit, try and find what's working for him. And he's missed a back-to-back -back fastballs and now we'll have a visit to the mound. Two balls, no strikes here on Woita. Goldbeck on second. Mervash is on first. No score. Ravens will try to limit the damage. KCK off to a very impressive start this season. 16-3 and three on the season. They are 5-0 and oh away from home in true road games. The Ravens 9-11 uh, and 11 on the early campaign, but of course uh, only two technical home games this season, and this would be their first one here at Walter Johnson Park. So two balls and no strikes, and we're ready to resume action after the meeting on the mound with Liker. Another dangerous hitter on deck, and Brady Patterson, the catcher. See if Liker can walk the tightrope. The 2-0, fastball just missed. Not missed by, by much, he tried to hit the corner up and away. So now 3-0 and taking all the way and drawing the walk is Woita. A pair of walks and a single. The Blue Devils have the bases loaded with one out here in the opening inning. Bases are loaded for the catcher, Brady Patterson. Top one, one out. Two walks and a single for the Blue Devils. Here's the pitch from Liker. He goes back to the windup, and he starts it off with a breaking ball that catches the zone. 
sometimes that's really the science of it is some pitchers just uncomfortable out of the stretch, especially in the early goings of a game, and we'll see if Liker in the windup is more comfortable. That fastball missed just off the outside corner. One ball, one strike. Liker had only issued eight walks this season heading into today and four starts. That one foul back just over us. Now one, two count, a chance for Liker to go on the attack. Patterson, the hitter, the catcher in the five hole. On deck is the left fielder, Marcus Dirks. One, two pitch, swing and a miss. Liker with a slider down and away. And he strikes out Patterson for a big second out. That's some big time pitching there from a sophomore pitcher where things aren't going your way. A couple free passes, clearly battling for your command, but able to get on the mound, hit the reset button, and strike out a really good hitter in Patterson. Two outs, bases loaded. Ravens try to escape early trouble. Dirks tries to lay down a bunt. Liker fields it cleanly, throw to first, and they're going to say he got him. Bang, bang, play. Goes the way of the Ravens, and Ryan Liker works his way out, out of trouble. We go to the bottom of the third. Ravens up to bat. No score early in this one at Walter Johnson Park. We'll be right back on the Red Ravens Sports Network. I will right at the start, but then you can have it. You ready? Ravens getting ready to come to bat here in the bottom half of the first after Ryan Liker worked his way out of trouble. Let's look at how the Ravens line up today under head coach Jake Martin, leading off and playing third base, number 10, Carson Schrack. Batting second in center field, number five, Jaden Hill. Batting third and designated hitting today is number 15, Carson Miller. Batting in the cleanup spot, the first baseman, George Andrews. Batting in the five hole, the shortstop, Nathan Six. That's second base, number 14, Adrian Dominguez. Batting seventh in left field is number 16, Christian Amon. Batting eighth, the catcher is Ethan Gillespie. And batting ninth in right field, Eric Bacon. They will be going up against the right-handed pitcher, Aaron Lewis, who's making his fifth start of the season. He is 1-0 with a 5-2-8 earned run average, the right-hander. We'll go to work against Carson Schrack. Schrack on the season, just another fantastic start to the year. 407 average, 486 on base percentage, and a team high. If I can do some quick math in my head, about a 1020 OPS. Strike one as we begin the bottom half of the first inning. Schrack in the leadoff hole. We saw him a lot in the two hole last year. And he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Big cut there on a. Off-speed pitch there from Lewis. So quickly 0-2 on the Raven leadoff hitter, and that one just off the inside corner. Pretty good 0-2 pitch there from Lewis, who looks like he's come out fired up here this afternoon. One ball, two strikes on the leadoff hitter, Schrack. Again, it'll be Schrack, Hill, and Miller, the three to bat in this inning for the Ravens. That one outside, two balls, two strikes. This is what Carson Schrack was just so good at last year. He's already he's off to a great start again this year, just hitting with two strikes, I think productive at bats. Does not strike out a whole lot. And now he's worked a full count. About as tough of a leadoff hitter as you're going to find in all of junior college. Full count pitch here to Carson Schrack, the future Arkansas Razorback. 
He fouls it off. So seventh pitch of the at bat, upcoming. And a little half swing there. They say he went. And a strikeout begins the day for Lewis. So now it brings up number five, the center fielder, Jaden Hill. Hill on the season, a 358 hitter. Team high, eight stolen bases. And he's tied with Strack for the team lead with 24 hits. First pitch here is off the outside corner, ball one. And we've seen early in this one, Lewis, that fastball, a little bit of two-seam action to it. It's tailing off the outside edge of the plate. 1-0 pitch to Hill. And again, tails outside, 2-0. Two-zero pitch here on Jaden Hill, and a breaking ball finds the outside edge. Two balls, one strike, and that's it's a nice off-speed pitch if you can float that over the zone, kind of keep you in counts, use that movement on that fastball to your advantage. But then he misses again outside. Now another hitter's count here for the Ravens, three and one on Jaden Hill. Three-one swing and a miss. Back-to-back so -back full counts here worked by the Ravens, but Lewis looking to retire his second consecutive hitter to start the afternoon. And that one fouled off, so back-to-back -back seven pitch at-bats. Ravens putting together some professional at-bats, but obviously we'll see if it results in a trip on base. Three and two here on the center fielder, Jaden Hill. Nobody on one out, bottom one. And a swing and a miss. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Lewis. Two quick outs here for the KCK right-hander. That'll bring up number 15, Carson Miller. Miller hitting 320 on the year. Pair of home, uh, excuse me, a pair of RBIs. And that one inside. Did it get him? Yes, it did. First base runner of the day for Coffeyville on a hit by pitch, and they'll take him any way you can get him. So a two out base runner as a Lewis fastball tails inside, and now we'll have the big fella George Andrews step in. Andrews with four home runs, that's a team high, sitting 250 on the season. He takes ball one. Throw over to first, and they've got him picked off. Run down here, and Miller in trouble and tagged out. Inning over. So the Ravens go down in order. A little bit unorthodox, but they go down in order. We go top two. No score here at Walter Johnson Park. You're listening to Red Raven Baseball on the Red Raven Sports Network. Each team scoreless and inning in as Ryan Liker takes the mound here. Top of the second. We'll lead it off with a strike on the inside edge. This is the designated hitter today, Freddie Nolan, the fourth. 
It will be Nolan, Pechorek, and Kern, the 7 8 9 in the Blue Devils order. That one grounded to shortstop. Moving to his left is Cruz, and he throws on to first. One down. Nice footwork there by Nathan Cruz. Moving to his left, good athleticism, sets the feet, fires on the first. Textbook play. So that brings up the right fielder for the Blue Devils. They call that a ball. Liker works again here. And there's a strike, Tanner Pachorek. Another pitch here, and breaking ball and a beauty. One-two pitch here from Liker to Pachorek. Goes to the slider, it's chopped, and it will roll foul. Good thing, too, he would have beaten that out with his speed. Pachorek on the season, a 302 hitter, eight runs, batted in. Solid on base, uh, on base percentage as well at 380. So now 1-2 again here from Liker. Ryan gets his sign and sets and fires. And that one lined into center field. Hill coming in, crashing, and he's not going to get there. And that's a one-out single for Tanner Pachorek. Second hit of the day for KCK. And a one-out base runner. So that'll bring up the nine-hole hitter, the center fielder, Brady Kern. Kern on the season, a 390 hitter. Almost like having a second leadoff hitter at the bottom of your order. And you have a hitter with the talent of Kern. And that one on the outside corner, strike one. Four Blue Devils have reached base in the first eight hitters of the game, but Liker's been able to work around the damage. Oh, one pitch here to Kern. And a swing and a miss. So quickly 0-2. Oh Liker gets his sign working out of the stretch. 0-2 oh here on the KCK center fielder. Goes to the slider, down and away. That one blocked nicely by the catcher today for the Ravens. Ethan Gillespie. One ball, two strikes. One and two here from Liker. And a throw over to first diving back in time is Pachorek. And that one... Nubbed back to Liker. The throw on to first is in time. Runner will move up to second. So two outs. As Kern is retired, and we'll go back to the top of the order with Garrett Goldbeck with a runner in scoring position and two outs. It's opening day for everybody, huh? Liker with a runner on second, two outs. Working out of the stretch. And steps off the bag, makes sure that. Goldbeck singled the left center field his first time up. Here's the first pitch. Breaking ball down low, 1-0. One no pitch here from Ryan Liker. And tried to backdoor that breaking ball, could not. 2 0 on Goldbeck. Lead off hitter Nolan grounded out to short. One out single by Tanner Pachorek, and then a grounder back to the mound by Brady Kern. That's where we sit, runner on second, two outs. Two 
2-0 the count. Goldbeck, star shortstop for this Blue Devils team. He's one for one today. And a breaking ball just missed. Liker came into this afternoon's game, only have issued eight walks in four starts, but in danger of walking his third hitter of the first two innings. There's a strike, top of the zone, fastball. Three and one now on Goldbeck. On deck is Peyton Basler, the second baseman. Basler flat out to center his first time up. 3-1 pitch, and off the outside corner, ball four. Goldbeck draws the walk. He's been on base in each of the first two innings, and two on, two outs now for Liker. So Liker with multiple base runners on for the second straight inning, but we'll try once again to put a zero on the scoreboard. Peyton Basler steps into the plate. And ball one, outside with the breaking ball. Beautiful day here in downtown Coffeyville. Upper 60s, light breeze, outside corner, strike one. Wind blowing to right center field. First pitch today was at 12.56, and again, this is a doubleheader today, so this game scheduled to be seven innings. Second game will be nine, unless this game goes to extra innings. That one inside, and plunks Basler. And so for the second straight inning, KCK has loaded the bases. And now they're loaded for third baseman Jackson Mervash. Ravash drew a walk his first time up. Liker will go back to the windup. Bases loaded, two outs. That one outside, ball one. Three walks and a hit batter, along with a pair of singles given up for Ryan Liker. His control, which is usually one of the strengths of his game, is... Been a little inconsistent early in this one, but there's a nice fastball on the outside edge. One ball, one strike to the KCK three-hole hitter, Jackson Mervash. Liker in the windup, gets his sign, kicks, and fires, and tried to go to that outside corner again. This one a little bit outside. Two and one. And a breaking ball just missed. So KCK with a chance to draw first blood here in this one. Ryan Liker needing to make a big pitch for the Ravens. The 3-1 outside and KCK strikes first. Ravash walks for the second time today. Pachorek comes around to score. That is the 19th run batted in of the year for Jackson Mervash, and now we'll have our second mound visit in his many innings. So again, Ryan Liker came into this game just four walks, or eight walks on the season, and now has issued four walks in the first two innings today. He has done a good job of limiting the damage to this point, only being one nothing Blue Devils, but we're at the point now where one swing can do some major damage. If you're just now joining us, the first time in 37 games, the Red Ravens are back at Walter Johnson Park. New infield turf. Brand new home dugout and some beautiful red around the bases that you'll see if you're watching on the Red Raven Sports Network. Very cool touch that uh, makes it Coffeeville unique. And that's something that Coach Martin was very proud of. Bases loaded, two outs. 
And first pitch swinging. That is socked. And it is gone. No doubt about that one. It's a grand slam for the Blue Devils. And it's the sixth home run of the season for the first baseman, Jace Woida. And you felt like it was a matter of time before damage would be done and damage done absolutely. So the Blue Devils have put a five spot in this second inning. On a big time swing. Wade knew he was getting a first pitch fastball and he did not miss it. Strike one to Patterson as the base is now empty. That one line to left, that is going to be a foul ball. So quickly 0-2 to Patterson, he struck out his first time up. Six home runs, 33 RBIs on the season now for Chase Boita. O2 pitch here to Patterson as Liker looks to get out of this second inning. That one popped up and out of play. No balls, two strikes. That one just off the outside edge. Tim Patterson struck out his first time up. That is the lone strikeout of the day so far for Ryan Liker. And there's a swing and a miss. So Patterson's retired for the second straight at bat on strikes. But damage is done. A grand slam. Jay Swoeda, a five spot for the Blue Devils. Ravens have work to do. They're down 5 nothing coming to the plate here on the Red Ravens Sports Network. Ravens coming to bat here in the bottom of the second, trailing five to nothing after a grand slam from Jace Woita, the cleanup hitter for the Blue Devils. And now a lead to work with for Aaron Lewis, who struck out two and had a scoreless first inning. Did hit Carson Miller with two outs, but they picked him off. So a productive inning for Miller, it will be. Andrews followed by the freshman Nathan Cruz and the second baseman Dominguez. Adrian Dominguez here in the second inning. First pitch to Andrews is down low, ball one. Beauty of baseball is you got time. You got six innings here in this game, one of this doubleheader to start to rally, but obviously need some stability on the pitching side of things and need to start having competitive at-bats, which the Ravens did in the first inning. Two seven pitch at-bats. There's a strike on the outside corner. One and two here to Andrews, the first baseman. Andrews on the season, hitting 250, team high four home runs, 16 runs batted in. Second on the team in slugging percentage, only behind Carson Schreck. That one outside, two and two. Looked like that was maybe a little bit of a change up there. Fading down and away. 
I'll tell you what, with a two-seam action on that fastball, a changeup can be lethal for Lewis here today. And there he backdoors a breaking ball. Strike three. His third strikeout of the day, and he locks up Andrews. One down. Lewis came into this one with a 5-2 ADRA, but early in this one, he's got much better than 5-2 ADRA stuff. There's a strike there as he goes right after Cruz, the shortstop. Cruz made a nice play in the top half of the inning. Fielding a ground ball to his left. Firing an accurate throw to first base. Now a ground ball up the middle. Second baseman makes the play on to first in time. That's Basler making the throw over to Woida. And two up, two down here for the Ravens in the second. So now Adrian Dominguez steps to the plate. Dominguez, a left-handed hitter. And first pitch just outside. Dominguez from Ontario, Canada. Ravens got a two-out base runner in the first inning. We'll see if Dominguez can replicate that success here in the second. He's ahead 2-0. and Two balls and no strikes from Lewis. And there's a strike. And with the way he's throwing right now, I'm sure Coach Goldbeck of the Blue Devils hoping Lewis can give them a seven-inning complete game here today. But three and one now as he falls behind on Dominguez. Ravens obviously try to make that difficult on him and piece together some base runners and see if they can do damage. 3-1 pitch, line to left, base hit for Dominguez. First hit of the day for the Red Ravens. It comes from the second baseman, Adrian Dominguez, and a two-out knock. That'll bring up the former Blue Devil, left fielder Christian Amon. Amon on the season, hitting 231. Two home runs, nine runs batted in. Amon hit just over 300 last year in 38 games played with KCK. That one inside corner, strike one. Hard to tell from this angle whether that fastball has more two-seam action as throw over to first back in time, whether that fastball has more of two-seam action or more of a sink action, but it is moving inside to right-handed hitters, and it has been very effective so far in this first two innings. That one flied to center. Amon floats it. Center fielder coming in. Second baseman going out. And a nice snag there by Basler. Almost fell in no man's land, but the catch is made by the second baseman, Peyton Basler, and the Ravens go quietly in the bottom of the second. One run, or No runs, one hit. We go to the third. It's 5 nothing. KCK here on the Red Ravens Sports Network. First pitch swinging here, Ryan Liker, and that one fading fast, diving, can't come up with it, and ending up at second will be Dirks, the left fielder. Very similar to the swing that Christian Amon just had to end the second inning, but Ravens could not quite come up with it like Basler did for the Blue Devils. So leadoff runner at second base. That'll bring up the designated hitter. Freddie Nolan. Nolan grounded out to shortstop his first time up. He shows bunt here, pulls back, takes a strike. A 
Top three here, game one of our doubleheader this afternoon. This one slated to be a seven inning game. The second game will be a nine inning game unless this game was to go to extra innings, then the second game would be seven innings. Pulls back and that's another strike, 0-2. Runner at second is the left fielder, Marcus Dirk. So to pitch, line down the left field line. Fair ball. Dirks will score with ease. This is extra bases for Nolan. He will strut into second with a double. Back-to-back -back doubles for the Blue Devils. And more damage done against Ryan Liker. It's 6-0. We talked a little bit before the game how good the Blue Devils have been swinging the bats this year. Hitting 346 as a team. OPA, uh, on base percentage over 500. Slugging percentage of 532. And they're flexing the bats here so far today. Six runs. That bunt laid down. Liker, it's going to be a tough play. He hangs on to it. And a bunt single for Tanner Pachorik. Puts runners on the corners. Pachorik now two for two today. And more trouble here for the Red Ravens. Stepping in now will be the center fielder, Brady Kern. Kern grounded out to the pitcher his first time up. This one to the right side. One run will score. Throw to first, not in time. So it'll be a fielder's choice. Runners out at second. And that makes it 7-zip. Runner on first, one out, throw over to first, not in time. Third at bat today for the shortstop, Garrett Goldbeck. Ground ball to second base, and it takes a hop over Dominguez's glove. Runner will turn and go to third, and the throw ends up hitting the runner, and now holding on the backside there is Goldbeck. Runners on the corners now. Here's Peyton Basler's third at bat already. First pitch in the dirt, ball one. One oh pitch here from Liker to Basler. Fly to center field. This should be playable for Hill. Retreating to his right. He'll make the catch. Runner will tag and score. It's an RBI sack fly for Basler. And a third run of the inning coming home for KCK. So Mervash steps in, runner on first. Two outs. Mervash has drawn a pair of walks today. And the third baseman here for KCK takes the first pitch, throw over to first, and back in time is Goldbeck. KCK has not sent a runner to try to steal a base yet today. Ball one there to Mervash. Inning started with a pair of doubles by Dirks and Nolan. Another run scored on the fielder's choice by Kern. A third run scored on the E4 with Goldbeck at the plate. The pitch, Mervash lines it to second, and that's how the inning comes to an end. Three more runs come home for the Blue Devils. 
Their bats are off to a hot start on this Saturday afternoon. They lead at 8-0. Red Ravens coming to bat here on the Red Ravens Sports Network. Ethan Gillespie steps in for the Ravens here, bottom of the third. Ravens trail 8 nothing. First pitch is fly to right and over the shoulder catch by Basler. That's his second nice grab of the day already. One pitch, one out. A little bit of miscommunication there between Basler and the right fielder, Pachorek, excuse me. So that'll bring up the right fielder for the Ravens, Eric Bacon. Lewis has been very sharp so far for the Blue Devils, and back door is a breaking ball there. That went up and away. Ravens have two base runners today. Carson Miller was hit by a pitch with two outs in the first. Adrian Dominguez had a two-out single in the second. Lewis has limited the damage to this point, and there Bacon with a half swing. Strike three. Two quick outs here for Lewis. He's got four strikeouts through two and two-thirds. Right-hander in the, his element this afternoon. We'll go back to the top of the order. Carson Schrack, who was the first strikeout victim of the day for Lewis. First pitch, outside corner, strike one. That one flied to left. Fading fast on his run, and that's going to fall for Schrack. Schrack will have a... Big turn, but he will stay at first. Two out single, third straight inning for the Ravens with a two out base runner. Second hit of the day for Coffeyville. First of the day for Carson Schrack. That'll bring up the center fielder, Jaden Hill. Hill struck out in his first at bat on a full count, seventh pitch of the at bat. And a throw over to first, Shrack back in time. First pitch, Hill lines it down the line. Hill can really fly, this will be extra bases. We'll see if Shrack's given the green light, he is not, he's held at third, it's a double for Hill. And back to back, two out hits for the Ravens. Shrack's kinda Blooped in there, but let me tell you what, Jaden Hill just barreled that baseball down the right field line. Maybe the Ravens turning a corner here. They'll have a big at bat here with the three hole hitter, Carson Miller. A chance to begin chipping away at this eight run deficit. 
They've been scored eight runs in the ninth inning on Thursday against KCK. So they've shown they can score quickly. Miller takes strike one on a breaking ball in the inside corner. Oh and one here on Carson Miller, the designated hitter. He was hit by a pitch his first time up. Shrack on third, Hill on second. That one fouled off. So 0 and two now. Oh and two here on Carson Miller as the Ravens look to do some damage, but a swing and a miss. And Lewis closes the door. He's got five strikeouts in the first three innings. Ravens leave runners on second and third. Eight nothing Blue Devils. Let's go to the fourth. Ryan Liker's day is done after three innings pitched. Eight runs allowed, four walks, two strikeouts. We'll see Emmanuel Pena coming to the mound for the Ravens. Pena on the season, three and a third innings pitched. Seven earned runs, walks have been an issue. He's issued five of them in three and a third. Something Coach Martin's always said about Pena, he's got the stuff. It's always going to come down to command, and we'll, he'll have an opportunity to show that command here today. He'll get to work against the cleanup hitter, Jace Borero, who grand slammed his last time up. He's two for two today, a walk, or excuse me, one for one, a walk and a grand slam. Manuel Pena walks up. First pitch is low and in, ball one. one -oh pitch from Pena, and tried to hit that outside corner and could not. Two balls, no strikes. Two and zero here from Pena, and a fastball. That one is foul. Was informed in between the uh, third and fourth innings that KCK starter Aaron Lewis is topping out at 91 this afternoon. He's looked great through three innings. Pena missed at that one, three and one. Three one pitch here. And fastball again grounded foul. Cow runs full. Ravens will try to retire the Blue Devil cleanup hitter for the first time this afternoon. Three balls, two strikes. 
Pena gets his sign, kicks, fires, and ball four. Three trips on base in four innings for Jace Woita. I'll bring up Brady Patterson. Patterson 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts against Liker, but he is a dangerous hitter, hitting 350 on the year, four home runs, a team high 31 RBIs. Runner on first, nobody out. Pena's first pitch off the outside edge, 1 0. Pena out of the stretch, 1-0 is yanked outside, 2-0. Nice catch by Gillespie. Two balls, no strikes. And now 3-0 to Patterson. Three and zero now to Patterson with Moita now leading off of second. There's a strike. And here's the pitch off the outside corner. Looks like now it's three and one. Upstairs, Patterson draws a walk. First two have reached here in the fourth. So that'll bring up Dirks. Dirks had a bloop double his last time up. Ended up scoring on the ensuing double by Freddie Nolan. And we'll have a mound visit for the third time in four innings. While they attend to the mound, let's a step away for just a moment. We'll be right back here on the Red Raven Sports Network. New pitcher for the Red Ravens, it is the right-handed pitcher Zane Wilson, the freshman out of Shawnee, Oklahoma. He'll take over with two runners on base and nobody out here in the fourth inning. Ravens down 8 nothing. Marcus Dirks, the hitter for 
The KCK Blue Devils, Dirks, is one out of two today. Grounded out to the pitcher on a bunt attempt his first time up and had a bloop double down the left field line his last time up. Showed bunt there, pulled back, ball one. One and zero pitch here from Wilson, and the freshman gets his sign, and that one low as well. A two and zero. Bunt should again. That one fouled off. Two and one on Dirks here from Wilson. For the fourth straight pitch, a bunt is shown and now three and one. First two batters of the inning reached on free passes. Three one pitch here from Wilson and ball four. The base is loaded now for the Blue Devils on a trio of walks. That'll bring up the right fielder Tanner Pachorek, who is two for two today, a pair of singles. Takes ball one. Ravens still looking for their first out here in the fourth inning. And that one off the inside corner, 2-0. Oh. There's a strike from Wilson. Two and one here on Nolan. Breaking ball way upstairs. Three balls, one strike. Blue Devils hit a grand slam back in the second. Have the bases full once again. Three one pitch, skied in the air. Shortstop going back. Center fielder Hill coming in. Hill will take charge, make the catch. One down. Hill lost the hat, but made the catch. So the one out, that brings up. Pachorek, who's two for two today. First pitch from Wilson, breaking ball, good one. Strike one. Breaking ball again on the outside edge. 0 and 2 as Wilson's starting to find a little bit of a groove here with these last few pitches. No balls, two strikes. Base is loaded. Wilson trying to work his way out of it. That one's skied. Catcher gives it a look, but it's over the dugout. Foul ball. Brady Kern stands in the on-deck circle, but right now it's 0-2 on Tanner Kachornik. 
That one off the outside edge, one and two. And did he go around? Yes, he did. Strike three, Wilson with the K. Back-to-back -back outs with the bases full, and now a chance to retire the side and no damage done. Brady Kern, the nine-hole hitter, steps into the box. Wilson gets his sign from Gillespie. Kicks, fires, and blocked nicely, 1-0. One up pitch from Wilson. He kicks and fires and just missed with that one. Maybe a hair low. Two and oh misses low and away. And Wilson's fallen behind here on Kern. Three balls, no strikes. And the 3-0 pitch is a strike. It's now three and one. Big pitch here, Wilson kicks, fires, and strike two outside corner. Battle back to force a full count here on Kern, and runners will be in motion. Can the Ravens walk the tightrope here in the fourth? Full count pitch from the freshman, Wilson. Kicks, fires, and ball four. So Kern stands tall, draws the walk, and gets himself an RBI. KCK plates a run here in the fourth inning on four free passes. And now back to the top of the order with Goldbeck. Fourth at bat of the day for Goldbeck. He has batted in all four innings so far. First pitch strike. Oh, one pitch to Goldbeck. And that changeup fades away. One ball, one strike. One and one here on the KCK shortstop. Breaking ball missed down low. Ravens have had a frustrating day with command as that one misses three and one. Starting pitcher Ryan Liker issued four walks and now four more here in this fourth inning. So eight walks for the staff today. And a couple of big swings by the Blue Devils has resulted in a nine run deficit. There's ball four. Another run will score, RBI for Goldbeck. And now another mound visit here. And as we look down the left field line, looks like we will have a pitching change. So let's step away, we'll introduce the new pitcher when we come back here on the Red Ravens Sports Network.
your, your music stopped. You ready? New pitcher for the Ravens, number 31, Caleb Peak, the right-handed pitcher out of Berry Hill, Oklahoma. And he will go to work against second baseman Peyton Basler. First pitch from Peak. Fly to right. Running it after it is Bacon and out of play foul ball. A one pitch now from Peak. Gets his sign. Breaking ball fouled off and a quick 0 2 count here for the freshman. Passler steps into the box. No balls, two strikes. Base is still loaded, two outs. Peaks pitch, fades away, ball one. A one two pitch. Breaking ball, and that one popped up. And coming in is the left fielder, Amon, and he makes the catch, inning over. Damage done, pair of runs for the Blue Devils. They lead it 10-0. We'll see if the Red Ravens can get on the board when we come back on the Red Ravens Sports Network. Bottom four, Aaron Lewis back on the hill for the Blue Devils. KCK leading this one 10 to nothing. I'm Shane Neal. It's the Red Raven Sports Network's presentation of Red Raven Baseball here at Walter Johnson Park. Strike one here as we lead off the bottom of the fourth with George Andrews, who struck out looking his first time up. 0-1 pitch, and that one off the outside edge. One ball, one strike. One and one here from Lewis, and that one in there, strike two. Lewis has five Ks through the front three innings. And he looks to add number six. And they ring him up. Andrews down on strikes for the second time today. And it's strikeout number six. Lewis retired, that brings up the shortstop, Nathan Cruz. And 1-0 now here from Lewis. 
Outside corner, nicely located pitch there. Lewis, a sophomore from Kearney, Missouri. Now two and one. Two one pitch. And just missed with that one. Ravens and a hitter's count, three and one here on Cruz. Cruz grounded out to second his first time up. There's a strike to run the count full. Three balls, two strikes, one out, bottom four. And a swing and a miss. Took a slider tailing down and away there from Lewis. Back-to-back -back punch outs, and he's got seven today. First pitch misses there to Dominguez. There's a strike. After the first two hitters worked full counts against Lewis, only two hitters since then have gotten into three ball counts. Lewis has done a great job pounding the strike zone. Two and one here on Dominguez. Dominguez was one of the two hitters to work a three ball count against Lewis back in the second inning when he laced a two out single to left field. And now two and two. Lewis looking to strike out the side. He struck out at least a batter in every inning so far, has yet to strike out the side. Two and two on Dominguez. And missed on the outside edge there with the, looks like a change up, when count runs full. That one fouled off. Good swing there by Dominguez. Full count here and that one fisted over to first. The play will be made by Woita. Three up, three down. We go to the fifth. Aaron Lewis dialed in. KCK leads at 10-0 here on the Red Raven Sports Network. Fifth inning here at Walter Johnson Park and strike one here from Caleb Peak as we return to the action. Shane Neal, it's the Red Ravens Sports Network. Blue Devils have scored in each of the last three innings. Five in the second, three in the third, two in the fourth. That one popped up. Andrews gives it a look and reaching. Did he make the catch? Yes, he did. Wow. What a play. So that retires 
The leadoff hitter here in the fifth. Heck of a catch. So now here's Boita, who's been the thorn in the Ravens' side today. A pair of walks and a grand slam back in the second inning. Now falls behind 2-0. Can't say I blame Peak here. I'd probably be nibbling around this guy too. Two balls, no strikes. Breaking ball to right field. Might have gotten under that one. Giving it a run is Bacon. And did he make the play? What's the ruling? Have we had a ruling yet? Yes, we have. He made the catch. Wow. Back to back. Web gems from the Ravens. That's helping your pitcher out. Strike one here as Peak looks for a 1-2-3 inning. He's facing Brady Patterson. 0 for 2 today, two strikeouts and a walk. And that one just off the outside corner. Peak's got a little bit of a, I guess that's what we call in modern baseball the sweeper. It's a little bit of a curve, a little bit of a slider. Kind of tails outside, that one's popped up out of play. But it tails outside like a slider, but it has kind of the hook of a curve, and that's uh, the modern lingo that we're using for those are sweepers. And I know that more and more pitchers are throwing sweepers nowadays. Very effective. One and two here from Peak. And that one lunged off down the right field line. Stays one and two here on Patterson. Heck of a catch and foul ground by George Andrews reaching over the fence and to grab the first out of the inning. And then Eric Bacon ran one down in foul territory to retire Woita for the first time today. That one upstairs, two and two. Two balls, two strikes. Tall catcher Patterson. Fouls it off, Andrews gives it a run, and he will not get to this one. Good cardio this inning for George Andrews. Two balls, two strikes here on Patterson. Caleb Peak with a chance to put together the first one, two, three inning of the day for the Ravens. And where did that one miss? Must have missed low. Looked like it caught plenty of plate. Full count pitch. And off the inside corner, a two-out walk drawn by Patterson, his second walk of the day. And now we'll see if Pete can regroup and retire. Marcus Dirks here with two outs. Again, upper 60s, light wind to right center field. Beautiful day here in Coffeyville. Strike one to Dirks. Oh, one pitch. Swing and a miss. Nasty change up there. Tails away from the lefty, and that's... That's what you see uh, when Luis Castillo takes the mound for the Seattle Mariners. That circle change that tails away from the lefties. 0-2 pitch. That one blocked nicely by Gillespie. It'll be 1-2. and two. Peek has retired three hitters since coming into the game. Now looks for his first complete inning. 1-2 pitch. Grounded foul. Dirks is... 
one for two today. Was retired on a bunt back to the pitcher in the first inning. Had, an, uh, had a leadoff double in the third and drew a walk in the fourth. One-two pitch again from Peak. That one lined and threw, base hit. Dirks with his second hit of the day. Up to second goes Patterson. Back-to-back two-out base runners here for KCK, and that'll bring up Freddie Nolan. Nolan flew out to center field his first time up. He's one for three today. Peek gets a sign working quickly here. The pitch, breaking ball, missed outside. No one grounded out to short in the second. RBI double in the third. Flat out to center, more of a pop out to center in the fourth. Now he's ahead 2-0. and Great crowd here today at the first home game at Walter Johnson Park in nearly a year. Three and zero now on Nolan. Some feels of opening day here. I know we're twenty games into the season, but it does have kind of an opening day feeling here uh, around the park today. That one skied, gave him the three zero green light. Gillespie looks for it, finds it, and can't quite squeeze it. Three and one. Nolan under that fastball. Hit it a mile high. Gillespie was looking right into that sun. Also ended up kicking his catcher's mask. Not sure. I'm sure that didn't end up helping with the footwork. So now three balls, one strike, two on, two outs. And that one catches the edge. Full count. Peak. Full count pitch, runners will be in motion. And ball four. So after Peak retired, the first three batters he faced uh, with retiring Basler in the, to end the fourth and then getting Mervash and Woida to start the fifth. He has issued two walks and a single. Strike one here to Tanner Pachorik. With the base is loaded, two outs. Pachorik struck out his last at bat. He has a pair of singles today, two for three. Outside there with that sweeper, one and one. Peek gets a sign, that one upstairs. Two balls, one strike. <laughs> 10 nothing KCK. They have not had a scoreless inning since the first, and uh, if the Ravens can make a pitch, they would be scoreless here in this fifth. That one to center. Hill has a beat on it, going back, making the catch, and the side is retired. Blue Devils load up the bases with two outs, but no damage done. 10 0 KCK. Ravens coming up to bat here on the Red Ravens Sports Network.
Bottom five here at Walter Johnson Park. Blue Devils lead this one 10 0. It will be 8 9 1 here in the Ravens order. It'll be Ethan Gillespie followed by the right fielder. Eric Bacon and the third baseman Carson Schrack. First pitch to Gillespie is muscled to center field, sinking fast, but retreating is the second baseman Basler who makes the catch. One down. That was, uh, excuse me, Eamon who just popped out to second base. And now Gillespie steps up. Gillespie the catcher, 0 for 1 today. Popped up to the second baseman his first time up. It was a nice play by the second baseman. Strike one. Gillespie swing and a miss. Nice slider. He's going on strikes. Eric Bacon will step up. It's now eight strikeouts today for Lewis. Bacon struck out his first time up. And that one off the outside corner, 1-0. Aaron Lewis going to lower that ERA significantly here this afternoon. He's also going to up that K rate. Came into today with a K rate right of about nine, 15 strikeouts and 15 and a third innings. Today has eight strikeouts and four and two thirds. But here he's falling behind three and oh. There's a strike. You gotta love it when the sports stars align. Basketball season ended earlier this week and first baseball home game in almost a year, just a few days later. Not much of a break here on the Red Raven Sports Network, which I know stresses Andrew out, but I know for all the fans, it's a, it's a good thing. Full count pitch here, and that one fouled off. He, Andrew wouldn't go through it if he didn't love it. Full count pitch here to the right fielder, Eric Bacon. The pitch from Lewis. Swing and a foul tip into the glove. And that will do it here in game one of our doubleheader. Aaron Lewis gets the ball and strikes out nine in a complete game shutout. Blue Devils win it 10-0 in five innings. We'll have game two just around the corner. Don't go anywhere. Much more Red Raven baseball this afternoon on the Red Raven Sports Network. We'll be back in just a bit. <laughs> 